Hello and welcome. My name is Micah Silverman and I'm a senior developer advocate with Okta. And today I'm kicking off our series called Noob Tube, where we take on a topic or technology that we're not familiar with as developers. So my good buddy Matt Rabel has been talking to me about Java Hipster, J Hipster for years, and I have never dug into it. Now I have done a lot of work with Vue.js and Spring Boot, and I've never put them together with Java Hipster. So I'm going to see if I can go from zero to an application integrated with Okta in one setting, one session here, 10 minutes or less. That's what I'm shooting for. Let's see how we do. So I'm going to kick it off. I'm here at the jhipster.tech page, and I'm going to scroll down past the sponsors. Java Okta is one of them. I want to find a quick start. Now here's a 15 minute quick start with Matt, which I'm sure is great. I'm going to jump right into this quick start. And one thing I do know is that out of the box, jhipster has built in support for Angular and React, but not Vue.js. And I want to do Vue.js. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit further and see what I need to do for Vue. I think, let's see, here we go. So modules and blueprints, I don't know what blueprints are, but I guess they're extensions to jhipster. Let's look at Vue.js, because that's the one that I want. Okay, scrolling down a little bit. Here we go. npm install generator jhipster Vue.js. Now I wonder if I need to install the, the whole thing first and then do that. All right, I'm going to do this first. And I'll, uh, I'll speed this up so you all don't have to suffer through this installing. All right, that's done. Let's go back to the Vue.js blueprint. And now I'm going to do this one. Yo is outdated. All right, let's fix that. I did notice also that I'm using Node 11, and I do have 12 installed. But let's see, let's see if it goes okay with Node 11. All right, now let's see usage. J Hipster dash Blueprint View JS. Okay. Now I saw something on the previous, on the quick start. Let's just see here. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna do this. We'll start an application. Okay, and now let's do this with the Vue.js blueprint. Uh, targets J and is not compatible with this J hipster blue, uh, version. Either update the blueprint or J hipster. You can also disable this check. Okay. Uh, J hipster 660 uh, targets J hipster 65. All right. So it looks like I may have to install an older version of J hipster. Now I'm going to fast forward through all this, but um, I'll do that and come back. All right, I'm back. I've uninstalled everything. Let me try and reinstalling. And let me give it a specific version. Still says my version of Yo is out, uh, outdated. I wonder why that is. All right, so now that I did that, let me reinstall Vue.js. All right, potential issues. Let's see if this will work this time. Not retrieve version of J Hipster declared by blue, uh, Blueprint. Use at your own risk. All right, I'm using a wrong version of Node. 
All right, which type of application would you like to create? Let's do a monolithic application. Base name will be my app. We'll say com dot octa examples. No. JWT, ah, uh, here we go. All right, so I'm looking to authenticate with Okta, so I'm gonna choose that one using OAuth and OIDC. No database, keep it simple. No cache, Maven. Which other technologies would you like to use? I don't want any. Which framework? All right, Vue.js, excellent. Would you like to use a Boot Swatch theme? I am not familiar with Boot Swatch, but uh, I don't know. Let's try Darkly. Let's do Dark. Internationalization, always, but I'm not going to this time. Let's test frameworks. I'll leave it at JUnit and Jest. No other generators. I have to pause again and update Xcode. I just updated to Catalina, so there may be some stuff missing here, but let's just see. MVNW, let's see if it runs. And I'm gonna bring up another one. So let's start here. We'll run Maven for the Spring Boot side of things. While that's going, I'm going to jump over in a new window here and let's go over to my app and we'll do npm start. All right. So it looks like our front end is running. Still waiting for Java here. I'll speed past this. Oh, we got a, we didn't quite make it. Something went wrong. Ah, okay, so it's looking for a security parameter and I'm assuming it's upset about our open ID configuration because I haven't given it any yet. So let's see if I can resolve that. All right. To the Google. This is from 2017. You can see all these blog posts. Let's go to J Hipsters Docs. Here we go. Okta. This is what I'd like to do. All right. All right. So let's go and open up this project in IntelliJ and see if we can start configuring it. Projects, my app. Here's our palm. Open it as a project. Oh, of course, it's right here in the README that it installed, so should have had that in there. All right, cool. So let's go to source, main, resources. Let's add an application YAML. All right, 
right, cool. Now, I am going to go over to my browser, and I'm going to use a handy resource, which is the Heroku add-on for Okta. Now I have a lot of applications, so I'm going to make a new application and I'll call it jhipster first try and let's add, no I don't want to add that, I'll create the app and what I want to do is add add-ons. Here we go. I'm going to add Okta. Okay. Now what this is going to do is provision for me an Okta org with everything that I need in it in order to configure this new J Hipster app. So I'm being a little lazy here. I'll speed through this. All right, now that I've created an Okta org, I can go over here and look at my config variables. And wouldn't you know, I have everything that I need for my jhipster app. So let me grab these variables. There's my issuer. Here is my client ID. And here is my client secret. So I can replace these values, client secret, client ID, and issuer. All right, let's try and fire this up again. All right, not quite there. Connection refused. Right, so it looks like it's, oh, unable to, hmm. It looks like it's trying to do some in-memory thing by default, even though I chose Okta. So I'm going to do a little research and come back. Okay, I'm back. I've made a little progress, but I'm not quite sure I'm doing things in the right way. We'll see if I get some feedback later. But going over here to the documentation, I should be able to just take this little snippet and put it into source main resources application URL, application YAML. Now that did not work, and but I did find that there's a source main resources config application YAML that's already there, and it has its own security section. And so I added in my Okta information there and that seems to at least let us get the application started. So now we can see that Spring Boot starts all the way up. So now let's go see if we can log in. Here is the front end and I'm going to go try to sign in. And I immediately get an error. Now I know what to do with this. This is because it's trying to redirect up here it's trying to redirect over to this URL, and I have not set that up in Okta. So let's jump over to my Okta org. And I'm going to log in there. Now, I'm already logged in because of the magic of Heroku SSO. I'm going to go over to the application that was automatically created for me. And I'm going to add this as a valid redirect URI. Okay. So, let's once again 
try to log into my J Hipster app. Sign in. All right. So I'm logged in as this randomly generated user. And so now I have a fully functioning Vue.js app that's able to authenticate over to Okta. Now you didn't actually see the authentication step because I was already logged in, but it did do the dance, the Open ID Connect dance, because it got my user email. If this looks like garbage, it's because it was randomly generated when I created the Okta org using Heroku. So, little bumps in the road, but, and I do have some questions. I will follow up in comments if I get those questions resolved, or maybe some of you J hipsters out there already know what the deal is with this business here in the application YAML. There's a source main config application YAML. There wasn't a source main resources application YAML. Uh, I made that one. The instructions here say that I should go and modify source main resources YAML, but there wasn't one to modify, and it seems to be ignoring that one. So questions, but in the end, it all worked. So I hope you've enjoyed this edition of NoobTube. We'll have more coming at you soon.